Hello, this is Nicole Hartley Bradford. Mm, I'm taking a stand for more 333 spaces to exist. These are spaces where the 333 initiation is happening. People are growing up, waking up, mm, discovering about their four feelings, anger, sadness, fear, and joy, and especially anger, which is, which is what it's recommended that you begin with. Mm, I have been doing 333 anger, which is three minutes, three times a week for three months for over two years. And I've started to add 333 of fear and sadness and joy as I'm really getting to grow up my ability and capacity to feel authentic anger, sadness, fear, and joy, and discern it from mm, emotional anger, sadness, fear, and joy to unmix, to, yeah, to just really discover what's, what's possible with four feelings as a being who has an, ener an emotional body. And I'm here today because I have been holding space for something called 333 Mega Thursday. And this is a, a Zooming call where anyone can come and it takes, it's the 30 minute call. It's very concise. It happens quite quickly. We do three minutes of anger and then an integration minute. And then each person in the call chooses which feeling they want to go into next. And they do three minutes of that and then an integration and three minutes of the other two with an integration. If there's time at the end of the call, we share in the call what our goal was. And if not, we, we go to a telegram group that we share and share about that. And then twice a week, each participant in this, in this team uh, does their other 333. And they might be committed to all four feelings like I am and they might be committed to just doing anger because some people are really brand new about this and one of the some of the feedback I've been getting from from the team but also from others who are doing conscious feelings work in their world is and many of us are nomadic and I'm nomadic and there's this constant question of where can I go where I can get on the internet to zoom in to with my teams and or I can be loud and there was one video filmed last week where Matthew and I found a place to do our uh our practice and we and we videotaped it and that's also uh on YouTube and I also wanted to just say more about it Matthew has has gone uh and on another leg of his journey while well, I'm staying put so that I can be in spaces where I can be on the internet and loud and zooming in with my teams and catching up with communications. And I'm creating this next experiment of a 333 team. And, and part of it is, is happening while I'm doing my 333 practice. So I'm here today at this beautiful farm near Strathmore, Alberta, where my friend Elisa, who is another person who's done Rage Club and she's been weaving the distinctions and about conscious rage into the coaching she does with others. And this is amazing to me because she works in a bank and this is like, it's getting into, it's like conscious rage work is, is finding its way into people who work in banks blows my mind. And I, yeah, I want to do my three minutes of each feeling. So I'm going to start now and I'm not using a towel and the windows are open and the neighbors are far enough away that if they hear me and come, I'm going to handle that. So that's one thing I want to demonstrate here. I also uh, I'm scared because she might get home. People might get home and then hear me and interrupt. And, and this is part of how I want to practice using whatever feelings come up in the moment to handle my life. Instead of using my emotional fear to not do the work. 
and not that this is wrong or bad. And this is again, something else that's been really alive in my teams and in my own discovery and research is that, is that all of these things that I'm putting time and energy and effort into don't mean the things that I'm coming out of are bad or wrong. And, and to be noticing the parent voices and the energetics of the parent, of the energetics of external authority and the way it kind of crowds in over top of, of the, the child ego state. And it could be said that, that this is how the being kind of crumples and becomes folded up. And that, that as the unfolding of the being starts to happen these these parent voices in this energetic parental kind of entity or mm, like this is my box this is at least a lot of what my box is made out of yeah and that these parent drivers hurry up be strong be perfect try harder and please others just make for this yeah, limiting space to be alive in. And this is what I'm committed to expanding out of and to empowering others to expand out of this also. So here we go. 333, anger. I've been doing the experiment of not planning and of not writing things down and just going. So here we go. Three, two, one. <sighs> I am taking a stand for the responsible use of anger. Let me know what you think and how you feel about this. I feel angry because team becomes less possible when parent voices are dominating and when gremlin comes to speak in parent voices i feel angry because i see swords being used when Ah, and beings crumpling and folding up. And I, I feel angry because rescuing is, slows things down. I get that. And I have this question about the authentic adult as a temporary stand-in parent in held spaces where child parts can grow up without being told, hurry up, get your gremlin out of there, stop, be stronger already, be perfect already. And I feel, <clears throat> I feel angry because I feel scared that I'll get feedback that this is wrong or bad or my gremlin or <clears throat> yeah and i feel angry because i noticed that energetically my center was going to an external authority this is my center i have it I am open to feedback. I am open to coaching. Mm. 
And in this minute of integration after each feeling, it's highly recommended to use a split part of your attention to just watch and notice the energy circulating, not to breathe it out, not to blow it off. And, and this is, this is somehow re recreating the nervous system. Also want to say that that this three minutes of anger looks very different from the three minutes of anger that I did in the first three, six, nine, twelve months of of my three 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 practice. It looked then more like me having temper tantrums and people have arrived. I'm back to do three minutes of fear. And the possibility that I just used was about collaborating with people, communicating about what works for them so that I can be loud. I'm gonna do this on the floor. Three, two, one.
from a wimp in that time is, yeah, I've been experimenting with just lowering my numbness bar and, and navigating into whatever fear I can kind of find. And it's, yeah, it's been looking like a lot of body trembling and yawning. And then as I, as I turn up my fear, my conscious fear consciously, what, what's been happening is that I start to feel scared that I'm, that it's inauthentic fear that I'm pretending. And then it's almost as if that becomes my doorway to more authentic fear. And then, yeah, today there, I was picking up Yeah, things in this new environment to, that I felt scared about, and and also using the the kind of like the experience of falling backwards uh, to like get some fear moving, and then I started to feel scared that I'm that I'm not feeling fear at a higher level, and then I just chose to do some fear screams as, as authentically as I could. That's where, it, that's where it ended up. And then, yeah, the other thing I've been working with is to then turn down my fear without bringing up my numbness bar. So how does that even go? It's such new territory for me. And no senses to do sadness.
scared of women to do with sadness because I couldn't seem to feel any sadness without using the story to put myself in the sadness, sadness about the past or the future. And eventually I started to just feel my sadness Yeah, and it was it was more it's about like it was triggered for memories and it's triggered for like a but there's there's an experience to it still. It is just the the sadness I feel that 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 men are told to man up and boys don't cry and and how how however many thousands of years chance of that. Millions of years of conditioning. It's just so hard for me to feel sadness sometimes. And I'm going to go into joy now. Joy. Feel joy to get to be alive. And again, like turning down my joy without lowering my numbness bar, without lifting my numbness bar. Yeah, I'm just noticing how how different each feeling is and how how kind of having it 
on purpose is different for each one and is different every time I do 338. You know, sometimes when I've done joy, I've just laughed and whooped and hollered. And sometimes when I've done fear, I've, I've cried, cried tears. Sometimes when I've done wait, sometimes when I've done sadness, I've cried tears. And sometimes when I've done fear, I've just done scream after scream after scream after scream. Right. Yeah, I feel glad to I feel glad about creating this video so that other people can just see how it goes for one person and yeah I feel scared in case then that limits anybody watching to to less possibilities than are actually there and so yeah this is part of my commitment to creating three 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 zoom in spaces so that so that people can see each other doing this research and discovering what 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 can happen and just have this joy that when my emotional body is is online with my sadness my anger my fear joy like accessible to me and that like the possibilities about being alive the possibilities about any moment and and choosing to create in any moment, just open up. This is all for now. Thank you. Please be in touch with any questions or feedback. Yeah, and if you want to also be on the team for 333 333 spaces to exist online in person in different time zones in different languages in the next era yeah let me know thank you goodbye for now